I post these videos revealing the truth of our plight and condition for those among us that are tired of believing in things that literally insults their own intelligence. I find it shocking that so many of our people find it easier to believe in supernatural premises in regards to our plight and condition, rather than the truth that the white society maintains its control and social dominance over us through their monopoly over prevailing narratives. It's an absolute fact. All societies are built around prevailing narratives. People's thoughts and behaviors aligns with the narratives that they've been misled to believe. Therefore, the white oppressor's greatest power is that they write all of the narratives that the masses believes. It doesn't matter that the narratives are untrue. All that matters is that the majority of the population believe that those narratives are true. People function based upon their perception of what's true. They've therefore fed lots of false narrative into our society that keeps the masses functioning in ways that serves and protects the system of white supremacy. As I said before, all societies functions based upon prevailing narratives. I will prove that millions of people can be controlled through false narratives by using the American soldiers as an example. Whatever the white ruling class wants to go to war for a hidden nefarious reason that serves their interests, they always create a false narrative that conceals the, that true nefarious reason for going to war. The false narrative is always a positive one that claims that the soldiers will be righting a wrong. They then present that false narrative and imposes it upon millions of soldiers. These millions of soldiers then accept the narrative as being true and begins functioning based upon it. These soldiers will then travel thousands of miles away and end the lives of strangers based upon the narratives. Some soldiers would lay down their lives in defense of the narrative. Again, it doesn't matter that the narrative is untrue. What only matters is that the soldiers believe that the narrative is true. People live, die, and function based upon the narratives that they've been given and have accepted as being true. Likewise, the same social science of utilizing false narratives to control um, large populations, uh, this, and the same as doing with soldiers, is being used to control large populations. It's also used to steer societies towards objectives. It can also be used as a weapon of mass destruction against targeted populations. This is the case in regard to black people living under white dominance. The white oppressor's greatest power over black people is their ability to create false narratives that keeps us thinking and behaving and functioning in ways that are against our own self-interest and instead in ways that serves and protects the system of white supremacy. Case, point, and proof. The white society writes all black narratives. White propaganda is created through ridiculous false narrative that we made the N-word ours and the more ridiculous other narrative that using it now empowers us. Many black people then accepted those false narratives as being true and then started self-identifying themselves by the N-word. However, both of those narratives are the opposite of the truth. It was through negative media social engineering by white social scientists and white propagandists that we were manipulated to self-identify ourselves by the N-word. The reason why they did this is because to subjugate and control a large targeted population, the first step is to neutralize their alpha male a.k.a. those possessing warrior spirits. These are the males that are psychologically wired to protect their women and their communities. White social scientists neutralize black alpha males by socially engineering millions to self-identify ourselves by the N-word. This is because words, when repeated often enough, has power over our subconscious mind. When we repeatedly call ourselves by the N-word, 
This psychologically conditions us to perceive ourselves through a false inherent subordinate identity that makes us less likely to defend our communities. And it also makes it aids the white society maintaining a social dominance over us. When we call each other by the N-word, it also causes us to dehumanize each other, which um, makes it easier to mistreat each other, including even unaliving each other. They've placed an elaborate psychological spell upon our subconscious mind by creating the false narrative that we made the N-word ours and that using it now ridiculously empowers us. Now, what I've just demonstrated is how white propagandists creates false narratives regarding the black population. And we then accept those false narratives as being true and then begin functioning based upon them, thus in a sense making them true. This is what's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. A self-fulfilling prophecy is a process through which an original false narrative leads to its own confirmation. In a self-fulfilling prophecy, people start acting based upon the false narrative that has been imposed upon them, thus making it true. This is also what was done when white propagandists created and spread the false narrative that it is we that are now our worst enemies. Many within the black community accepted the false narrative as being true and became divisive towards each other and it shifted our collective aggressions away from the white society and redirected it against ourselves. The reason why millions of black people believe that they've confirmed their negative assessments about our racial group is because once a false belief has been successfully embedded into the human mind, many people will then only notice those incidents that appear to confirm the false embedded belief and will become psychologically blinded from noticing the overwhelming um, information and incidents that refute the false belief then based upon this psychological blindness, many will insist that they've confirmed it um, for themselves that the belief is true, although it's in fact not. This is what's called the illusionary truth effect. The white oppressors constantly creates false black narratives that are designed to negatively impact us and then imposes them onto our communities. And then many of us conforms to those false narratives. In fact, the white oppressor's greatest power over black people is their ability to create false narratives that keeps us thinking, behaving, and functioning in ways that are against our own self-interest and instead in ways that serve and protect the system of white supremacy. This is our hidden reality. White social scientists also determined a long time ago that they can also they can control the black population and subdue unified black protests by keeping the black masses believing the fraudulent worst narratives about ourselves. People are easily controlled by the narratives they routinely receive about themselves. Positive affirming narratives unifies and uplifts the people. It can even give them the confidence they need to stand up against their oppressors. However, to the contrary, when people are constantly inundated with negative, demoralizing information about themselves, this causes the exact opposite to happen. This divides them, uh, makes them self-loathing, makes them self-doubting, and causes them to lose confidence within themselves. This loss of confidence not only makes them more compliant with their oppressor's dominance over their lives, it in fact makes them even prefer it. The demor this demoralization process utilizes the immense power that shame has upon the human mind to mentally enslave millions of black people. Those black people who do not critically think never notice their mental chain. But even worse, it attacks the core foundation with bonds as a people and we can then be ruled over forever. Those of us who tell you the truth are trying to free you from a mental prison that you don't even know you're trapped within. And the most difficult prison to escape is a prison for the mind. The truth has finally come forth, but they brainwashed millions of us to fear it 
and to hate those who speak it. These are those black people that have been literally brainwashed to now act as wardens of their own mental prisons. A lot of you right now hating me for telling the truth. Millions also refuse to accept the truth because of the inherent call for action that keeps us, um, that comes from, from accepting the truth. Therefore, we cling to our biblical fairy tales and our silly slave syndrome myths that keeps us in a safe zone. It is time to wake up to our reality. One love and peace.